Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Dawn and today we are going to debunk some myths. Recently I saw a comment on one of my videos and the commenter said that, well, I, I like women and I want to have a threesome and that I must have something wrong with me and that I am no man's advocate if I would do that. And I thought, oh boy, that's very interesting that, that this person thought that. And it made me question, it made me wonder and go, ah, I think, I think I know what happened. He must have watched one of my videos on female fantasies and what some of us might think about and thought that it was literal, which I don't blame him. Men's brains sometimes can be logical, more logical than women, but guys, th th we're going to talk about fantasies today and what they really mean, because I, I don't think that you're quite understanding, or at least this guy wasn't about the role that fantasies play in a relationship, in a woman's brain. They aren't real. This is a place where we go to explore some of our dirty thoughts, some of the things that we might want to do, but we know that there are consequences for doing those things, such as having a threesome or such as doing things that wouldn't necessarily be conducive to a relationship. But, the, but just the fact of saying the thing out loud just the fact of having it induced in our brain. This is why you guys sometimes watch the corn because it has nothing to do with what could happen in reality. Although sometimes I think that guys think that, that, that they wish that it would happen in reality. Well, we're going to delve into it a little bit today and I'm going to give you some examples or I'm going to, I'm going to paint some pictures for you as to what potentially those fantasies might mean at a deeper level, because they are not literal. They are just some hints, some signals as to potentially what she might want to do, but doesn't, but doesn't actually want to go through with. So, so really let's start with just defining what a fantasy is, right? They're this, the, 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 the mental images in your mind that gets you feeling hot, that gets you feeling bothered. And guess what? Almost everybody has them. Of course, in our puritanical society that we live in, in the United States of America, God love this country. We do have more of a puritanical society based on religion and based off of, well, I'll keep my thoughts to myself, but if you have traveled at all within Europe or within other parts of the world, it's very evident, right? If you've ever been to a nude beach in Europe, people are I did lots of internships in London. My grandmother's from there. That's a whole other video. But I was lucky enough to travel when I went to college. I did internships in these areas and I would see nude beaches. I would see people just walking around, doing their thing, comfortable with their junk hanging out. So culturally, you cannot deny that we live in a society that is a little bit more Rude compared to other societies. And I'm sure my European watchers and viewers will attest to that. So of course you guys know that I like to have a little bit of studies and some backings to my YouTube. So according to a survey of over 4,000 people, the majority fantasize to get aroused, right? To satisfy curiosity, to escape reality and to fulfill taboo desires or reduce anxiety. It's a dopamine hit, right? Same reason why, again, men will watch corn. And you know what? It's all normal. It's all normal. But unfortunately, there is so much shame associated with sexual fantasies. A lot of times they don't get spoken about, which is a shame in my, in my opinion. So let me talk to you a little bit about some numbers, right? So in a study of nearly 18,000 individuals, only 42% fantasized about their current partner, while a whopping 90% admitted to fantasizing about getting it dirty with someone other than their partner. So if you've ever had the experience of a wandering mind, if you've ever thought that you should feel guilty, potentially, I think men might see a woman and imagine what it would be like to be with her. But I think you and I both know that that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be with her realistically. 
It's just a thought and it comes and it goes. Now let's talk about some types of these fantasies, right? Because they can range from erotic locations to BDSM to open relationships. And yes, there are some fantasies that might be more acceptable than others. Voyeurism, exhibitionism, but guess what? They don't mean anything. They don't mean that you have some serious traumas or that you are, you know, in, need to be checked into a mental facility. Men and women sometimes have different fantasies. Sometimes they have the same, but let's talk about a little bit more about what men fantasize about because they often fantasize about impersonal encounters while women tend to lean towards more romance and submission, right? Okay. Because women fantasize more about the submission because let's say you're, you're a mom and you're tired. You're always doing for everyone else. You're always giving to someone else. You are the provider. Being a mother is actually very masculine in, in essence, because she's doing. So you want someone to do to you. That's all. It could be that she is fantasizing about certain things or this kind of a submissive type of frame because she just wants to relax. She just doesn't want to do anything. She just wants this, this person to come in and treat her a little dirty. Okay. Fantasies don't mean reality. There is typically something underlying the fantasy that might be repressed or might not be able to be expressed in everyday life. So this is why I say, don't judge a woman's fantasies. The fact that, that a woman can think about things that are so naughty and that potentially she will never engage in, but she's thinking about those things and it gets her hot. Just the thought, the temptation, the naughty girl that is thinking about those things. But the fact that you judge her for it, or the fact that you say, oh my God, how gross, or you get into your head, right? You want to have a threesome? No, no, she doesn't want that. She just wants to think about doing it. It's just a, a fantasy. It's naughty. It's bad. It's wrong, right? Okay. Some women just want to express that to their men. And you guys, this is why 50 shades of gray went so viral because it was like it was it was they were going oh my gosh i wonder how how hard he's hitting her or how what what are the things that he's doing that is en enacting this and this reaction and they put themselves in their in that woman's shoes but not nine times out of 10 if you were to put a woman in that position she'd probably run out the door screaming like oh my god no get out of here like get get away from me so again fantasies are okay try not to judge try to be a little bit more open minded i'm sure i'll have some comments in here that tell me that i'm wrong i really don't care you can continue with your boring sex life do whatever you want to do but i'm saying if you're going to have a marriage if you're going to have a long standing relationship, if you are going to have a relationship that has some eroticism in it, that has a healthy sex life, be open. Try not to be judgmental. Talk to your partner. Ask them, what are some of the deepest, darkest thoughts that you might have that you're afraid to share? And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to listen. And we might do something about it or we might not. But nine times out of 10, <laughs> just the act of talking about it is enough foreplay. And, and enough foreplay for you to get turned on as well. Just don't take it personally, okay? Just remember, fantasies are fantasies, and they are just that, just a, a place for you to go in your mind that is an escape. If you like this video, please hit that like button or subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.